S&P 500 futures opened a session lower despite being basically flat overnight. A lot of data in the early going really hurt sentiment, at least it seemed like it did. You had December retail sales missed to a 10-month low. Also, import prices were weaker. Manufacturing production for December was lower than estimated, and industrial production for December also missed. That, combined with uh, news flow with regards to the Omicron variant, were late last night. Uh, it was noted that the seven-day average hit another record of 796,332 new cases in the U.S., as we got into the day, we made several attempts to um, get off the lows from the session, despite weak uh, quarterly earnings from both J.P. Morgan and Citigroup. Really, did initially uh, spook the markets. Beyond that, there is strength in technology and energy, given the, the rally in WTI today that seems to be limiting uh, today's losses. Also, we saw University of Michigan report fairly dour. The headline uh, number is the lowest since December of 2011. Consumer expectations surprised to the downside and consumer one-year inflation expectations are the highest they've been since July 2008. That said, um, other markets, uh, you have the interest rates and also the dollar basically muted today, not making much of an influence on the S&P 500, although WTI today did touch a two-month high boosting energy stocks. Now, going into options, um, looking at March, um, at the money vols today are moderately higher, although skew about the 30 delta and the tail, the 10 to 15 delta area are both lower. So you have at the money vol a little higher with skew and tail slightly lower. Heavy options volume today, an observable volume in March, 4,700 call, followed by the 4,750 call. On the put side, the 4,500 put, followed by the 4,450 put. Lastly, the um, E-mini micro future continues to grow. Yesterday was no exception with volume of 1,210,980. Open interest is now up to 148,685.